All right, welcome back. I want to bring in uh, Palesa Moetti back into the conversation. She's covering the case against the seven people and five companies accused of fraud, corruption and money laundering. It has been, I understand, postponed at the Bloomington Regional Court. Palesa, give us the date once again with regards to when it has been postponed to. And also, tell us, did the prosecutor say anything about further things that might be added to the indictment? <laughs> Well, the matter has been postponed to the 19th of February. Um, that's what we know for further investigation. And um, we do understand that there will be about three more arrests. We know that on Friday we have got the ANC, um, SG, Ace Mahashule also appearing in this very same court on similar charges on the asbestos matter. So this matter is still developing um, very much so. But yes, um, right now we'll talk to some of the grannies that have marched here along with other um, disgruntled ANC members. You know, these are supposed to be, these were supposed to be the beneficiaries of the asbestos roofs that were supposed to have been, um, you know, removed and replaced with other um, roofing structures, proper roofing structures. Now, just to give a, to give a face to, you know, this whole asbestos saga, uh, um, I'm going to talk to two of the grannies. Okay, let me just explain quickly what the granny was saying is that, um, you know, this asbestos roof which she's been having for many, many years, which they were promised that they would be removed and replaced, is actually making her sick. She says that when it's raining, um, you know, there's water coming, coming in through the roof and that there's some substance that she believes that over the years has made her to feel sick. She says that her pe chest is painful and that she's now even developed a wound on her chest because of, you know, all the issues that she's had over the years. We're going to talk to yet another granny just to explain to us how her experience has been. Granny there just explaining that her roof is leaking, that her numerous efforts to try and close it up have just failed over and over. She's also explaining that she's always been a staunch ANC member and that she never thought that one day she would be one of those people that actually march against the ANC to raise issues against her. All right, it seems that we lost that link again, but uh, we got the gist with regards to the impact of this uh, on some of the gogos there. So uh, thank you to Palesa Moetti, live for us reporting there.